For this sem bite, it's time for breakfast. Some mornings I feel like I need some Fruit Loops, but this morning I'm feeling a little more grown up. I'm gonna go for Raisin Nut Bran. The thing I love the most about Raisin Nut Bran are these delicious covered raisins, right? Unfortunately, they're not evenly distributed throughout the box of cereal. I tend to get more of them at the start of the box and less at the end of the box. I think that's due to what's called the Brazil nut effect. The Brazil nut effect is something you normally see in a can of mixed nuts, where if you shake the can, the largest nuts, usually the Brazil nuts, work their way to the top of the can. In this case, it's not so much that the raisins are bigger than the flakes, it's that they're different shapes and sizes. And so when the box gets shaken, the material inside starts to separate. This is actually a real problem in a lot of different industries where they try to mix materials and keep them mixed together. I'm gonna try a little experiment with my breakfast this morning. I'm gonna try really shaking this thing hard and seeing if I can get a ton of raisins at the top. There's definitely a higher than average concentration of raisins in this bowl. Now I'm kind of curious, if I keep pouring bowls of cereal, I wonder if I'll be able to see the concentration of raisins go down. No oh, bother. Let's take a look. I started out with lots of raisins in here. As I go down, this one still has a lot of raisins, really kind of almost too much. Go down to this bowl. It feels like it's a little less. Oh yeah, definitely a lot less raisins. I see maybe like 10 raisins in the whole bowl. And by the time I get to the very end, oh look at that, there's no raisins in here. All right, I mean, who wants to eat a bowl of bran flakes? There's actually a whole science about how materials separate when they get shaken up. Thinking maybe the makers of Raisin Nut Bran should get some of those scientists on their team. Stand by.